Greetings and welcome to No BS Baking. You got JP here. Now, I've had a few people ask me, JP, what is the, a really good book that you could recommend for baking science and technology? Well, I didn't have to think too long or too hard about that one. It's a real easy one for me. I, I, I got the same book when I went to school. It's still used by researchers and um, professional bakers around the world. Uh, it's part of the regular educational curriculum. Key instrumental book. Uh, you got to have it. Uh, and so without further ado, let's jump into this. When you're looking for baking books, one does not need to look very far to realize that there is many to choose from. Many are produced by well-known names in the areas of baking or cooking. Many of these books are wonderful additions to add to your arsenal of baking and cooking knowledge, offering cool recipes, how-tos, and even baking tech by some titles and authors. Yet for the person truly interested in learning about baking science and how it all works, I'll give you a secret. Many of the baking books out there on the market are based on science, processing techniques, and experience that were all learned through research and experimentation. So where did the science come from? The chances are really good. It came from Piler. When people talk about uh, Ernst Piler, they're not speaking metaphorically when they say he wrote the book on baking technology. Because you know what? He actually did. He was born in Switzerland and emigrated to the U.S. in 1929. After completing his education, he joined the staff of an industry magazine called Baker's Digest in 1936. Two years later, he became the editor. And in 1952, the first edition of Baking Science and Technology was published and remains to this day the authoritative source for university-level programs in baking science worldwide. In 1965, he became the co-owner of the Seabill Publishing Company and assumed additional responsibilities as technical editor for Brewer's Digest, a monthly publication of news, science, and technology for the brewing industry. To this day, Piler remains a go-to for baking science and technology and is very often cited as a resource used by research facilities, universities, baking schools, and industry tech giants from around the world. Piler remains one of the key authoritative resources used by researchers around the world. Here are just a few of the research institutes and universities that continue exploring, expanding, and reporting new baking science and tech based on many of the foundations set down by Piler. If you're looking at the latest technology from research institutes around the world, chances are good Piler contributed. If I was going to recommend a book for those people looking to learn about science of baking, without hesitation, it would be Piler. Not only will these books teach you all about baking, they'll set your knowledge base to a new level so that you can better understand leading edge, edge tech as it's been introduced by the food science nerds every year. And lastly, if you're real nerdy, you will enjoy the read, great charts and diagrams, and actually pretty simple to understand language. However, if going to school is not really what you want or have time to do, then you still want these books. You can reference anything, you can solve problems with them, you can understand ingredients, they cover almost all baked goods. The best baking science book you will ever own. Okay, I've given you my secret. Go for it. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, please give me a like and a subscribe. It really helps me out as I'm getting this channel going here. And be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have sitting right over here. Uh, we'll see you next time. No BS breaking.